Hi guys, it's Emily here. So today I'm back with another speed building video and this time it's the Spanish garden house. So this house is super cute. It only has one bedroom and two bathrooms. So it's just for a single sim or a couple sim. I built it for a couple sim. It's an elderly retired couple who love to garden and I actually um, uploaded them to the gallery because as you may be able to tell in this video, maybe not. But there are no other houses in the distance. It's been like a heavily discussed thing in my comments and requested that I rebuild worlds. And it's been, I don't know, it was suggested that maybe I do uh, Windenburg first, which I had thought about. But what I decided to do was just um, download from Tumblr the empty lots, which you can if you want to, by the way. I did. Um, Maybe I didn't reblog it. I'll reblog it, but I did. It's under my saves or my favorites. Um, but you can upload it just empty. So I it doesn't have San Machino empty, and so it probably doesn't have the Vampire World. But everything else like Windenburg and uh, Oasis Springs and uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the names of the worlds. But anyways, they're all empty. And so instead of just focusing on one world, I decided to kind of bounce back and forth. So this is going to take me a long time, <laughs> but eventually I will have everything filled and then I can upload it all as one save file and then you guys can download it in your game. And the reason I built a family, family and uploaded it to a gallery is because I'm going to have specific families that go with each home. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully you guys think that's pretty cool. I mean, it has been requested, so if it's only the like three people who have talked about it are excited about it, then yay, we can all be excited together. But um, I think it's pretty cool because um, yeah, it'll just be something fun for my own gameplay to have an entire place to solve my builds because honestly, my build worlds are like just such a mess. Like some of them have half build things. There was like, I don't know, unfinished houses. There's completed houses and then sometimes I move things I don't know they're just a mess so this is gonna be where I build the house is where it stays at least in my game so that's my plan but I will upload these to the gallery as normal so if you want to download them the download link will be in the description they'll be on my gallery you can find them the same way you can everything else so um yeah I'm super excited if you guys have any questions about it or anything let me know in the comments but it will take me a while so bear with me and please don't get impatient but uh yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. And then I'm also, like, I was contemplating about, like, remodeling some of EA's builds. And I kind of decided against that because I have tried to do that in the past. And I've just gotten frustrated with it. So I figured I'm just going to let this all be my own builds, not remodels of anything. It's not going to be... there. There are some collabs that I would really like to add in here, but I'm not going to do that either. It's all just going to be everything is built by me nothing from anybody else so yeah it's gonna be lots of fun and also my own sims so all the townies are gonna be new too it's gonna be my own townies my own builds so not every house I don't think will have some new living there some will be empty and then also I have existing builds that I have um, you know built before YouTube that I really like and so they'll kind of be in there but I won't do tours of them or anything it'll kind of just be a bonus of adding it into your own game if that makes any sense so I don't know hopefully you guys like that I think it's gonna be pretty cool and like I said if you have any questions about it or any I don't know any ideas for things that you'd like to see um, let me know but other than that I'm just gonna be just building and then collecting it all in here and backing up my files because I'd never want to lose this because uh, it's, it's gonna be a lot of work <laughs> but um yeah so anyways I'll tell you about the couple that I moved in here and I kind of gave them their little story on the gallery in their description but basically they're a retired couple who used to oh, I didn't put this in the description but they used to live in um, in Willow Creek and then they decided to retire in Oasis Springs and so this is their retirement house so that's why it only has one bedroom but it has two bathrooms but it has lots of places to garden and so this the woman her name is Janet she her and her husband could never have children. They decided not to adopt, so they decided that they would just devote their time to other things. So she developed all of her time into gardening, into herbalism, so she is maxed out into those skills. So by the way, I'm like cheating their skills, so when you download them, they have like certain skills and stuff. I don't know. I went, I went a little crazy. But, um, but that, I mean, and then uh, also their careers and stuff. So her husband, he is maxed out in, in 
no, he's not maxed out. He's like level eight in the writing skill. So he's been writing for a long time. He's a very accomplished author. And so yeah, he's still writing. He's still um, a writer. He's still working. You know, he's not retired. I guess that doesn't really just make sense. So he's still working, but she's retired. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, we'll get better at this, I promise. But um, anyway, so he devoted his life to writing and she devoted it to gardening. So that's why there's lots of plants. And then he has a computer in here and there's some bookcases and stuff. So that's what I was kind of thinking with that. So it's kind of, kind of fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used lots of plants, lots of overgrown stuff because I just, I love that so much. Like vines and uh, so pretty to me. I, um, the house that my husband and I used to own had lots of ivy growing up our back fence, which I've probably mentioned a bunch of times, at least in my earlier videos, because um, in my earlier videos, it hadn't been that long since we sold our house, and I was like missing it, um, which I love where we live now, so I don't miss it as much, but um, yeah, it had lots of beautiful vines and ivy growing up on the back fence behind our pool, and it was so, so pretty. I loved it so much, and um, and yeah, I just, I really like that. So I try to incorporate that into the sin. So you may notice a lot of my homes do have ivy. And it's just because I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I love lush, lush gardens and everything. And um, yeah, I've really been having a lot of fun with landscaping. Like I always have fun with landscaping, but I feel like I've been, I don't know, doing it a little bit better lately. I don't know. Maybe that's in my own head, but I've been feeling like it's just been a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah, so... I think it's pretty cute and I added a little fountain and I put some planter boxes like I I might do another gardening themed house but with an actual like what do you call those where it has like the large windows and it's enclosed kind of like a greenhouse but connected to the house I don't know I'm thinking about doing that in the future for like another gardening type theme to build and so that one will probably be built on a bigger lot because this one I chose to do on a smaller lot because I needed something that I could build rather quickly. And um, yeah, so I have to I have to make myself build on small lots when I want to build something quickly because otherwise I build something that has like four bedrooms, four bathrooms, giant backyard. And like It's like this massive home, which I really love to build, but it's very, very time consuming. Like this only took me like an hour and a half, two hours maybe. And something like that will take me, you know, two times three times as long so yeah I have to <laughs> I have to consider the lot size when thinking about how long it's gonna take me to build something because I will take up yeah the entire lot for sure <laughs> which surprisingly in my build that I built for my um, my mint current household that was actually built on a 40 by 30 lot but I think because I had it in mind that I wasn't gonna spend a lot of money that's why the house was so small oh, and I also kept it one story which helps a lot and I always build two story but I want to build more smaller builds especially in this whole rebuild thing because um, I want to give like a mix of houses like some that are you know 75 to 150,000 simoleons like more expensive and then some that are you know 20 to 40,000 simoleons and then some that are like you know mansions and like really lavish houses so um, and then also there'll be community lots, of course, and parks, and yeah, I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna, I'm kind of just gonna, whatever I feel like building is what I'm gonna build. So whether that be a community lot, and then I'll add ones that have been on YouTube already, probably to like my, uh, La Casina Bonita build. I'll probably add that one because I love that restaurant. I always add that to my game whenever I'm playing. Um, it's like one of my favorites. And then... Yeah, probably some other ones that I've already built, but, um, yeah. So, but anyways, we're getting on into the interior, and it's pretty cramped, but like I said, they moved here from, you know, a different uh, neighborhood or a different world, if you can say that. I don't think that really makes sense to call it a world, but, uh, so, you know, they and they're elderly, too, so they've lived a long time. They have lots of things that they've purchased and collected over the years, so it's a little bit crowded, a little bit cramped, but everything works. I did play test it, so... Yeah, the living room is right there when you first walk in, and they got, yeah, bookshelf, TV, some, you know, seating. <laughs> it's a pretty basic living room, I guess. And then the computer is also down here. There's not a separate office or anything. And then there's a bathroom behind the staircase, and then off to the right of the house is the kitchen and dining area. And the kitchen and dining room are all one room, so there's not a separate dining room either. It's not like, it's not an overly, um, overly big house so there's not separate rooms for everything so yeah but it's still kind of closed off because it's a little bit more a little bit more traditional but yeah it's definitely 
definitely pretty cool house. I think, I don't know, I really like this style of house. Spanish style houses are like my favorite. Like the last house that I built that was Spanish influenced, I mean, it had a blue roof, so it was definitely more Greek looking, even though I had, like was basing, basing like the exterior structure of it Spanish looking. Does that make sense? I don't know. I didn't explain that very well in that video, but, um, but anyways, um, it's just like my favorite style. Like when the house that we bought was Spanish style, and when we purchase or ever build in the future, that's definitely the style that I want to go for. Like, I've been looking at pictures a lot of, like, Spanish, um, what do they call this? I think it's Spanish Colonial, which is really beautiful homes, and I didn't know it was a thing, because, like, we, I don't know, my husband was looking around on, like, Zillow and looking around on different, different things, because he's really into, uh, like, woodworking and things like that, so he's really into wanting to build our house someday, so... I just want to decorate it. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I'm like, can I just buy the furniture for it and hang up some pretty artwork? <laughs> That's all I want to do. But he wants to build it. So he looks at lots of different um, like structures and things. And he came across Spanish Colonial. And I was like, I had no idea. So that's definitely something I want to look into. And we'll probably stay in the area that we live in. And so I think that would suit, suit really nicely. But um, yeah, I just am in love with Spanish architecture. When we went to Mexico, um, Oh, I was just, I love it. It's so beautiful. And plus, I'm kind of on a kick with it because of my collab with Irrelevant Sims, which you guys can see on Monday and Tuesday. I'm so excited. Um, it kind of, it's uh, Caribbean themed, so I used uh, some Spanish influence with that because uh, from when I went to the Caribbean before, I went to Jamaica and I went to uh, Mexico. So, kind of incorporated uh, what I saw in those two countries. So, yeah. Um... Hopefully you guys like the way this build's coming along. This is the kitchen and dining room area. And like I said, I did test it out. So even though it's a little bit cramped, they were able to sit in the chairs, cook, and do all the things that they need to do. But I love the terracotta tiles with the wood floors. I think so pretty right next to each other and with like the kind of um, rich kind of almost red countertops. I don't know. I just was loving like the colors and everything. It's so warm and inviting. I just, uh, like sometimes when I build things that I... Um, plan for warm places like sometimes interiors look kind of cool because I imagine you know it's hot and it's humid and they want things to be a little bit cooler and probably cooler colors but this one I went really warm and oh, I just love it I think it's so pretty with the stone and the wood and I don't know I just I'm in love with it so hopefully you guys like it as much as I do um I think it's really pretty now one thing that I didn't do I didn't put a curtain on every single window because I felt like it at least these curtains that I wanted to use, I felt I feel like they're bulky, <laughs> and so if I use too many of them, I feel like it takes up a lot of space, especially in smaller houses like this. So I just put them on windows that I thought were, I don't know, they looked nice, nicer that way, and a little bit more necessary. I don't know. It's just something I was kind of thinking about while I was building. Um, but anyways, um, one of my, I don't know, a couple months ago, I built a suburban home that had like this uh, kind of back porch area with these. Uh, tables where I had all the planting stuff on it. So I did that in this build too since she, you know the, the woman that lives here is a gardener. Um, so I added all the different little gardening stuff. So you'll see that in a, just a moment where I add them. I think it's a pretty cool idea if I ever can get to it. I'm like deciding what to put on this chest right here. I had a hard time picking what to put here. I think I ended up going with a candle and then putting some flowers on the coffee table. It takes me forever. But anyways, eventually, after I figure this out, here we go, um, I, I decide to put a little gardening stuff. So I put some planting stuff, some plant, you know, plants that are already potted, and then the little gardening decorations. Like, ah, I think it's so cool. Like, it's a completely useless space. Like, your sims can't use it at all, but I think it's cute. Like, I don't mind, I don't mind having places that are useless. Like, I think it's pretty cool. Like, I think I'm... I've seen a couple people do it recently, like I just watched um, Dana do, um, you know, the colorful sense. I just watched her do a false washer and dryer, which I thought was really cool, and then I saw, who was it? I've seen a couple other people do it recently, and I can't remember who they are, so, uh, but anyways, yeah, I've seen the false washer and dryers, which is so cool, and, you know, they're not usable either, but I think it just... Filling up space that you don't necessarily know what to do with is a good idea. So I think I'll probably do that in another like more suburban-y type home probably here soon. And yeah, but um, anyways, I'm working on the bathrooms for, or the downstairs bathroom right now, and it's pretty cute. It has a shower and a tub. The upstairs bathroom I was gonna put a just tub in there, but I ended up just doing a single shower because it's a little bit too small. But I mean, there's 
It's just the two of them, at least that's my plan for them. You could probably... No, maybe not. I don't know if you could probably squeeze another bedroom in here. You could probably turn the downstairs bathroom into a bedroom, but then then you'd only have one bathroom, so I don't know. I definitely built this for only, you know, one or two sims, so it'd be cramped if you tried to expand. But, uh, I mean, you could obviously completely remodel it and change the exterior and stuff, but that's all on you if you decide to download it and put it into your game, what you do with it, right? But, um, yeah, so I decided to not put the bathtub in here and put the shower instead, which I think works a lot nicer for the space. And I always use that tallest half wall, by the way. I mean, you guys have probably noticed this if you've been watching my builds for a long time. But, um, yeah, I always use the tallest wall height, uh, half wall to separate the shower. I think it looks really nice and kind of ties it, makes it look more complete and, like, structurally complete. I think it looks pretty good. But, yeah, I also tested out their bedroom so they were able to, you know, get to either side of the bed. So, yeah. It's cramped, but it works. <laughs> Pretty much with the whole whole theme of this house, it's cramped, but it works. I think it's super cute. So let me let me know what you guys think, <laughs> and let me know what you think about the whole rebuild thing. Because like I said, there's only been it's been like highly requested, but like only like among like three or four people. And uh, I didn't write them down. I should have, but uh, but yeah, thank you guys know who you are who've been talking to me about it, and I really I love suggestions and I love ideas from you guys like it really means a lot to me that you guys are involved like I think it's so cool and I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it so I this was one of my favorite suggestions that I've had to do this because I I don't know I've just never really thought about doing it I guess I mean kind of thought about it but never really took myself seriously I guess and so the last couple days I've just been thinking about it a lot more and then I was looking around the tumblr and I found the empty worlds and I was like Yep, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get started and yeah, it's gonna take forever, but I'm not going anywhere. So Yeah, it's just gonna it's just gonna be a while. So eventually hopefully the Sims 4 is still a thing by the time I'm done with it um, and So yeah, it's just I'm really I'm gonna have fun with it. I think so Yeah, um, I really struggled with what to put in this hallway by the way because it's like kind of an awkward space But I also struggled with how to do the floor plan because I did cut I think I cut out my like initial practicing floor plan to cut that out that did take me a while and then I just yeah I went with this and I think this makes this makes the most sense at least with this space and so the floor or the hallway is kind of awkward at least for me I had a hard time figuring out what to put here but I think it I think it works out in the end and it looks it looks nice and they have the chess table up there which makes the space a little bit more useful to have some sort of activity but I put a little dining area out here with the barbecue, and then um, I think that looks super cute. They probably can't use the table because of the decoration that I put on top of it. It's not, it kind of takes up the whole thing. It's not one of those that takes up like a itsy bitsy little square in the center of the table, you know, that are meant for it. But oh well, you can move it if you need to. But we're already almost to the screenshot, so thank you guys so much for watching, and please leave any comments or suggestions you have, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, bye!